Okay, you've heard of the Big Bang, but could we see something similar occurring again soon? Well, according to a New York Times article, there's evidence mounting that a tiny subatomic particle seems to be disobeying known laws of physics, a finding that would open a vast and tantalizing hole in our understanding of the universe. We're going to explain this. Michio Kaku is joining me live. Uh, he is a professor of theoretical physics at City College of New York, also the co-founder of String Field Theory and a science correspondent for CBS This Morning, joining us live from space. Also the author of The God Equation, The Quest for a Theory of Everything. There's his book there. Uh, professor, good to see you, and thank you so much uh, for taking the time. So this can be a little confusing. Take us back to physics classes for a moment. Explain this discovery a bit more to us and why it's important. Well, you know, for the past 50 years, we've been stuck with a rather ugly theory of subatomic particles. It's called the standard model. It works, but nobody thinks it's the final theory. It's simply too ugly. It's a theory that only a mother can love. However, this new result coming out of Chicago and Geneva, Switzerland, turns the apple cart upside down. A new particle has been discovered, we think, which means that the standard model is not the final theory. There could be a higher theory out there. Some people think it's string theory. Other proposals have been made, but it's causing this tremendous stir in the physics community that the standard model, which held sway for 50 years, is incomplete. New physics, new interactions are going to come pouring out of our atom smashers. This is big news for a physicist. And I see the excitement about it here. So tell me about this, this particle. How could this particle change the game? Well, the standard model predicts that the electron and a muon, as it's called, are partners. One is heavier than the other, but otherwise they're identical. Ah, but now we find that the magnetic properties of the muon differ appreciably from the magnetic properties of the electron. It wasn't supposed to be that way. So now we suspect there could be a whole nother set of particles at higher energies. Now that's great news because a standard model is, well, ugly as sin. Even its creators know that it's ugly, but it works at low energies. Undeniably, it works. Now we realize there's a higher theory out there, a theory which governs the Big Bang, governs the large-scale structure of the universe itself and maybe even makes life possible. So this is big news, overturning the cherished laws of physics that I discuss in my book, The God Equation. Einstein spent the last 30 years of his life chasing after the God Equation, an equation perhaps no more than one inch long that would allow us to, quote, read the mind of God. That's where this particle could take us. All right, before you go, um, what is this new theory in layman's terms? Well, if I have a super microscope and look at an electron, normally people would say it's a dot, it's a point particle. Now we realize that it may be, just maybe, a rubber band, and it vibrates at a certain frequency. And if you vibrate it enough, it turns into all the various subatomic particles that we've seen. So physics is the harmonies you can make on these vibrating strings. Chemistry is the melodies of these strings. The universe is a symphony of strings. And then the mind of God that Albert Einstein spent 30 years of his life chasing after, <clears throat> the mind of God would be cosmic music resonating through the universe. That would be the mind of God. All right. Well, look, there's a lot to unpack there. The professor came on to help us out with this, but I want to leave everyone with this quote here from Luke Skywalker himself on this article. Mark Hamill says, evidence is mounting that the force has been with us always. That from the New York Times article. Uh, professor Michio Kaku, good to see you, sir. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on it. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.